Hey everybody, this is uh, Amarisha here. She's a new addition to the Conover office. She will be ha taking care of everything with our patients coming in for new patients. And we're greatly happy that she's here and um, just wanted to introduce her. Today's topic is about can people here, now that she's stepped away, we wanna take my mask down, but um, can people here with a hearing loss enjoy music and hobbies that they did prior to the hearing loss? And the question, the answer to that question is absolutely. It may sound a little different, it may take a little getting used to, but absolutely they can enjoy it. Many folks that have a hearing loss have stopped listening to music because it may sound a little different, especially if they have not been treated for that hearing loss yet. So music is very important to our life. Uh, a statement that Confucius said, music produces a kind of pleasure that human nature cannot do without. And I truly believe that. We listen to music when we're sad. We listen to music when we're happy. We listen to all different styles of music. But that's totally true. Fortunate, you know, there's a great interest in music and listening to it in the hearing community. And hearing manufacturers have taken that and they have tried to make it better for the person to listen to the music. We can now uh, stream music straight to our hearing aids. So here's a little bit of how hearing affects, or hearing loss affects music enjoyment. Hearing aids and cochlear implants are good for transmitting speech information or through speech but music is transmitted through emotions. Just like we said, we listen to music when we're sad, when we're happy, it, it improves our moods, you know? So we, we, it's transmitted through emotions and those signals are very difficult or different and they have their limitations, okay? A lot of us struggle when listening to music, you want to hear that placement. You want to be able to pick that guitar out. You want to be able to pick that piano sounds out. Everything that's happening, it's knowing exactly location where it's coming from. And if you have been experiencing a hearing loss, you have trouble with that localizing sounds. The technology in hearing industry, like I said, has, um, improved on the listening to music. We can stream directly from our iPads, our, um, you know, any type of Android tablet to your hearing aids. Some hearing aid manufacturers have even put a equalizer in there so that you can get that balance to the hearing. You can have more bass, you can have more treble. You can adjust that on your own through the app that's on your smartphone. Or your tablet. Um, one of the things when you are having a hearing disability and you come in and you visit us and we do our free hearing exam, the follow-up visits, especially if you listen to music and any other hobbies, it's, it's your environment that you're in when it's taking place. And We've talked in the past about keeping a hearing journal. That's very important. When you come back to see your provider that they can go in and make those fine tune adjustments for you to be able to hear better in that en environment that you're in. You can absolutely do anything you want with hearing aids to the point of swimming, which they do make some that I've been told uh, never fitted anyone, but. Um, so just don't swim in them, but you can do skiing, you can do any recreational activity, scrapbooking, whatever. You know, if you're in a big room, just look for, you know, set up against a wall, like we talked last week about that. Um, one of the things that if you've never had musical 
lessons and say you want to start learning how and I've actually started taking lessons learning how to play the mandolin and I too have a hearing loss you know my husband used to tell his kids on the baseball team that well actually he told our son this our son's left-handed and as a child he would watch his dad play the guitar Jeff's right-handed and Brian wanted to learn how to play it and his dad told him he said well, I don't know how to play it left-handed, but I can teach you how to do it right-handed. And if you've never learned how to play the guitar, you're not gonna know the difference. So he plays right-handed, but he's left-handed. So he actually strums it with his left hand. Actually, he strums it with his right hand, holding it in the right-hand position for a guitar, but he frets the keyboard in with his left hand, which is actually his more dominant hand, so he has more strength up there. So that's kind of the same thing with hearing loss. If you've never really taken lessons or knew how to play before, and you've got your hearing aids, you want it to sound as best you can, but that learning is, it could be a little bit more difficult, but there's things we can do. One of my colleagues, uh, Bill Beck in the Sanford office, he had a patient that played the guitar, and when he would play at home, he told Bill that it sounded very tinny. Well, Bill made an appointment for him that day, and he had him bring his guitar to the office, and he and the patient, Bill would make adjustments while the patient played the guitar to where it got to, to the perfect sound for him to hear it like he used to. And I thought that was such a great idea. So, you know, if you're playing your instrument and it doesn't sound right to you, if it sounds too tinny, then talk to your provider, ask them if you can bring it in, let them write a music program for you. Uh, I have a music program on my hearing aids and it really does make a difference. So if you're struggling with something like that, always keep your follow-up visits. Be aware of your domes or your earpieces. If they move and go deeper into your ear or come out of your ear, it may cause a problem for you in hearing that music. And even some hearing uh, aids now have like a self-adjustment tuning built into their microchip, to their small computer that's behind your ear or in your ear. But if you know someone that's struggling with a hearing loss, have them give us a call or you give us a call or go online and book their appointment. We'll be happy to see you and to do our free hearing evaluation and see if we can help you. So until next week, I look forward to seeing you. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.